What's up, my friends? Action figure junkie back with you again with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories. This one being everybody's favorite crazy dentist. Did you know he was a dentist? He'll be a dentist. Yes, Dr. Mindbender. Current modern updated version of the Cobra scientist. I say that with a question mark with parentheses around it with asterisks. Um, Dr. Mindbender, yeah, this is a current modern updated version. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, why is he wearing a shirt? Well, I'll tell you why he's wearing a shirt. Why he's not wearing, you know, just suspenders and no shirt because um, to me that was always a bit of a clown, uh, clowny figure. I never really cared for that uh, look. Um, I have no idea why that dude would go into battle and go into the depths of tombs to raid them for ancient leader's DNA without a shirt, even if he does have that amazingly ripped body. So um, I went with the same color scheme, the basic uh, black and purple, you gotta stick with that. But dude, I gotta put a shirt on him. You know, when I do my custom modern updated figures, I like to kind of bring them into 2020, that what you're wearing now. And uh, I just don't think that Mindbender would be uh, basically out there rocking that bro body without a, uh, without a shirt. So this is him. I added a cape. Don't ask me where I got the cape. I've had the cape for more years than I can count. It really could use a cool Cobra Seagull on the back, but I can't. I don't really have the ability to put a sticker or a water slide decal on that cloth, so doesn't have it. However, he does have, why don't you remove that cape? Check those out. I dig these. These I added up to the shoulders, the clavicle, whatever you want to call it. I guess he would correct me because he's a scientist. Um, those were, those were kind of keeping in with the classic look of Dr. Mindbender. Um, he does have a hidden pistol right back there. I don't know if the guy ever rocked a gun, but mine does. Those weird torture devices that he came with back in the day, I decided to forego those because I just didn't think that they were really in keeping with my 2020 version of the doctor. You got a hole there for a backpack in case you're so inclined. That's uh, that's an action figure junkie patent pending. Joking. Anyway, check it out. Um, what did we do to him to give him a scientific aura? Took these took these cool leg things off of a sci-fi, where I got them in an eBay lot. My sci-fi is still intact. I got these from somebody else's sci-fi. Painted them black. I don't know. They just look crazy weird high-tech, like something a insane doctor might have. Uh, these pockets for whatever kind of torture device tools I may come across in my time to put into his pockets, open pockets, they're kind of left open for the future. I don't have anything right now, but you never know, I might at some point, I might see something that looks like it would be used to extract teeth while trying to get secrets out of an uncommunicative G.I. Joe, such as Snake Eyes. So uh, as soon as I get a brainwave scanner, He's going to go with it. Oh, this pistol came off. It wouldn't be one of Action Figure Junkie's videos if everything went right. There we go. I just got to glue that back on. All right. So check him out. This is my doc This is my Dr. Mindbender. I think he looks way more practical, a bit more realistic, even though he is wearing purple pants. Hey, the Hulk can do it. Why not him? I went with the uh, G.I. Joe Hasbro 25th anniversary head. Marauder black top, Marauder purple pants with the uh, black armor. I thought the black armor suited him. I don't know why, but uh, the color, I guess the color contrast, so. And then um, gloves, black with a uh, gray, gray um, patch on them. And I don't know, man, I think he looks pretty cool. I don't know that we really need him turning back to you, his back. His back is not very interesting because it's just a cape. So this is him in all his glory. Oh, and I went and, I went and added this belt right here is from the uh, exosuits, from the Marauder Task Force exosuits. I basically kind of ruined an exosuit to put that on him, but uh, hey, I do what I do, you do what you do. So that is Dr. Mindbender in all his glory, ready to uh, cause some serious chaos and possibly create Serpentor with the help of Destro. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on all the socials. You can find me at Action Figure Junkie across the board. Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, Twitter. 
pretty much any, except for TikTok. I think I'm a bit too old for that one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, please hit me up. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things you do. I'm going to have some new surprises coming soon, maybe some uh, toy review reveals. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. As always in closing, you know we do it. Oh, that one. <laughs> this could be one of my most unprofessional videos yet. See, I don't edit. I leave it all in, warts and all. Oh, bro! Oh.